convener of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum is accusing leadership of organized labor of failing to protect pensioners. Dr. Eduentry says the labor unions have only been championing their interest and neglecting these group of vulnerable persons who were once part of the workforce. As such, they will exhaust all means to ensure their exclusion from the debt exchange program. Over 400 pensioners have come together to resist government's plans to include them in the debt exchange program. They argue the impact will be dire as their livelihoods depend on the benefits they receive from the investment. According to the Ghana Statistical Service, about 4.3% of the population are 65 years or older. These retirees face several challenges, including their health, access to social protection services for these group of persons are limited. Pensioners in Ghana do not get any support from government as happens in some advanced countries. We cannot do that now. But if we can't do that for our people, why would we also disturb their own investment that they have made to take care of themselves? It does not make sense to me. Government has set up a committee to address the individual bondholders' concerns, but the pensioners insist on the exclusion. When we were strong, we were protected by the, 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 the labor unions. Now that we are weak, there is no protection. Why should the society be, 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 be happy to do something like that? group? So for us, it is complete exemption. Economist Daniel Lenin laid the blame on the finance ministry and urged the managers of the economy to sympathize with the pensioners. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to negotiations, it has to do with win-win situation. You may not, the government may not be able to satisfy all your demands, but the ability of meeting you halfway to me, it is, it is, it is in a positive direction rather than the unanimous and the unilateral postal government took from the beginning and it is clear that in this our dispensation of course we have a sovereign power but at the end of the day there's a need for you to broadly consult and engage people who may be affected by your policies so that at the end of the day you could end the support of citizens the technical committee has begun its work it remains to be seen whether government would yield to the demands of the pensioners